morning folks as you could see i am just in a salt cave at the moment and uh, this is a spa uh, that's filled with salt the whole idea or what they say it's like a very therapeutic here are the salt rocks and there are beds that's available next to the salt rocks so I'm just sitting in this salt room and outside there is a board. It basically says when you breathe in salt aerosols, it's pretty good for your body, for your breathing, for your asthma. Uh, it's good for your lungs. Um, it cures any pneumonia. It's good for people who smoke um, and it just cleanses your system. So as I'm sitting in the salt room, breathing in salt aerosols, um, I'm just reminded of Jesus' teaching to his disciples, you are the salt of the earth, he said. Um, and what good does it do if we lose that saltiness, if you lose that power? And how can we be salty again? What does it mean by that? Well, in those days, there's no refrigeration. Uh, for preservation so therefore all the meat uh, uh, was preserved maybe when we read the whole feeding of the 5,000 uh, through this wee boy uh, with two fishes and five loaves maybe those fishes were um, salted and preserved well salt gives a lot of meaning so you know gives the permanence because as we preserve food uh, there is longevity, there is integrity, it's not spoiled, it's faithful. Uh, so Jesus is saying, you are the salt of the earth. How are his teaching? Uh, is it being preserved in our hearts and in our lives? And sometimes I should say, you know, in the storms of life, I do fail. Folks, my sincere prayer is that this Christian journey, it's always a journey between where you are and where you ought to be and sometimes we fall and sometimes we fail um, times it can be challenging can be stressful in those uh, stresses in our busy lives we may lose our saltiness i don't know what you're going through in life you know if you need peace or if you need joy if you need love if you need strength if you need comfort there is an answer for us in christ but how are we preserving these things? He's left us with so many blessings in our lives. In our life challenging situation, the enemy wants us to just be distracted and lose our own purpose and lose our own identity and lose our own saltiness. But to be salty again is to preserve these teachings of Jesus in our lives preserve Jesus in our hearts every day we can ask him to come into our lives and say Lord come into our situation come into my problems come into my relationships come into my children's life come into my health situation and preserve me from all evil and danger seen and unseen let me pray for you Heavenly Father, we come to you in Jesus' name. We thank you that we are reminded to be the salt of the earth. And today, Lord, our prayer is that we will be made salty again. That if we have lost that essence and if we have lost that flavor, Lord, bring back the real joy and peace that is in Christ. So that when we go into the world, May it be our work, or may it be our family, or may it be our church. We might be a true disciple. And we might be a shining example for others. Well, thank you for this encouragement today. Bless us to be faithful and true, and guard our integrity. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. See you, folks.